Hi everybody. So today I want to talk about uh, Espresso English's course, which is actually a book called 1000 Collocations in 10 Minutes a Day. And I recently became an affiliate with um, Espresso English because I liked her articles. I love the way she teaches. And so I decided to actually purchase some of her, her material to potentially use with my students and to see really how she structures things, how she teaches um, certain things such as collocations. So today I'm going to talk about this book, the recordings and the exercises within it and kind of give my opinion about how it is really. So um, first of all, collocations are actually words that are commonly paired together. The first paragraph says, let's begin our study of collocations by learning some common expressions about the family. Okay, so this is how she structures the book. It's in various topics, right? So in family, you'll learn everything you need to know about talking about family in English, words that you commonly hear together. For example, your parents and siblings brothers and sisters are your immediate family, right? And your extended family includes all your relatives, uncles, cousins, great aunts, etc. So the, the story continues. You can use a family tree, right? Family tree is one of these things where you write your family, family members' names. Uh, to diagram the relationships among your family members. A person who re is related to you by a long series of connections can be called a distant relative. All right, so the rest of this sample has 32, well, there are 32 common words that go together. So dysfunctional family, a troubled childhood, you know, and very, very clear descriptions. So in the sample, you know, it was very good. I, you know, I thought, okay, this is, going, this is going to be a really wonderful book if she keeps the same quality of, um, of written examples and of actual really normally used words. And you know, she actually does. <laughs> So for me, the value of this actual, this document, which is now, I think it's about 100, let me see, I think it's about 150 pages, um, the full document with tons of exercises. Um, if I create something that's that long with that good of quality content, I would have charged much more. All right, so I'm trying to think of some constructive criticism about this collocations document because I think I, everything else I said was pretty positive. The things I have to say are very nitpicky, meaning that they're very small. Uh, in the actual document, there are not really very many images. Um, I don't even know if I saw one image in the document. And I think actually for a learner, even if they're very focused on learning vocab or, you know, focusing on these sort of you know, the words themselves, they don't need to have images, but it's still nice to have something that's a little bit visually appealing to help you continue to the next chapter. Another thing, this and this is going above and beyond, but I feel like it would be nice if there were some conversation questions that someone could potentially use in their language class and ask their teacher, hey, do you mind having asking me these questions or could we have a discussion um, using some of these questions? Uh, that would be pretty cool. Uh, although it is not necessary, if you have a teacher who um, is good at creating questions, which the teacher should be good at creating questions, they can do that on the spot. If you are at an intermediate to advanced level of English and you're thinking, good God, how can I p possibly, you know, increase my language level? I'm kind of, I've kind of reached a plateau. I don't know where to go next. You really probably should learn collocations because these are what native speakers would think of automatically if they're talking about a specific topic. Oh, that person had a divorce, but it was a bad divorce. I would most likely say it was a bitter divorce, but if you don't study these sort of things, you won't know that this is the way a native speaker would normally describe it. So take a look at this 
and try some of the examples. I think uh, they're very useful. And then if you end up buying the book, of course, you will also get the um, MP3 to listen to her reading of this entire section so you'll know how to pronounce the words and you will also get the exercises. So each of these has exercises that go along with the new collocations taught. So take a look and I uh, hope you enjoy. I would love this if they had this in Portuguese, but I've never seen anything like this in um, some of the other languages I was learning. So.